before the sun shines a light on Lyndon B. Johnson Elementary School. Vice Principal Marty Nesham is already beginning her day. I try to get here about 6.30. I get into the swing of things and then if I'm able to, then I get out and I help with um, morning arrival. Uh, that is a really special time of the day and uh, when I don't get to do that, the kids notice. In between meetings and paperwork, Nesham is non-stop. Join her for lunch duty and you'll quickly see where her passion lies. They want to see that face, that, that love, that hug, and that's really important for me that these students coming in, that could be their only hug they get that day. That could be the only good morning, how are you? And so it's really important to me to be out there as much as possible so they have that warm, friendly feeling coming in. For Nesham, being a vice principal isn't just a job, but rather her purpose in life. And during some of her darkest days, you can also say it was her saving grace. My son passed away in 21, unexpectedly in May of 21, and so um, it was a godsend, I think, that I was asked to come, you know, do you, are you interested in the admin intern position? Because I think being in this position gave me the renewed purpose. And each day of being around the students, of being able to go around from staff member to staff member, didn't take long to get that sense of purpose back in me, to have that feeling of, I am here for a reason. I am supposed to be doing this. And um, something would happen with a student and I'd go, oh, that reminds me of Noah. Remember what he would say. Remember that feeling. Know that my, my kids are physically and emotionally here with me, whether they're on this realm or another, saying, you got this, Mom. You got this. You can do it. Your babies need you. Keep going forward. Keep working towards what you've always wanted to do. You're here for a reason. And those students are here in my life for a reason. The staff is here in my life for a reason. If I didn't have them last year, I don't know what I would have done. You got this, guys. You got this, okay?